Hi, this is Jared from Shunome, and I want to do a quick bonus video today following up um, on the video I just recorded, which hopefully you just watched, on adding 2D detail to details and sections. In that video, I talk about using the detail tool to create details, but I didn't actually show you guys how to do that. So let's do that now. I'm going to go to Tools, down to the Detail tool, uh, and set up some settings. If you're using my template, you just go to Favorites, go to Favorites, 3D Documentation Markers, double click on that, all the settings are good to go. Uh, draw your bounding box, you can use kind of a funky shape, um, or just a rectangle, place it, and you're done. Now this automatically creates a detail in the uh, project map, and in my template I use clone folders, so I have detail clone folder, that automatically makes the save view with all the right settings. So it's got you know the scale set right and the um, you know pen sets, layer combinations, all that. That's all good to go. So we open that up. You've got your detail. Uh, you can go ahead and you know delete lines you don't need. Maybe delete a fill or two, and then just get to work. You know adding your extra detail and. You know, adding your labels, and that's it. Now, one bonus thing I'll say is if you decide the model is going to change, let's just do some wonky things. Say, say you change the model. Uh, here's your 2D detail. This isn't going to update. You can do one of two things. You can, you know, manually make that change as well. Nope. Uh, or you right click rebuild from source view and you know there your model has changed you notice that things you deleted come back um, and that's okay you just have to redelete them and that you know all that stuff that's really wonky so let's just go ahead and move that back down rebuild it, and you're good to go. I find that if you start details and the model evolves, after some point you stop rebuilding the model and you just tweak the detail individually because that ends up being faster if you've already added labels and added dimensions and linked things. Uh, but there you go, just under three minutes talking about how to actually create a detail and update it. Have a great day.